This theory video looks at diatonic harmony, specifically harmonic minor. Recap, what is diatonic harmony? Diatonic harmony is chords that are created using only the notes in a scale. Have you ever heard, that song is in the key of? Well that means that the melody and the chords are related to a particular key. To build chords that relate to a particular key, we need to build chords on each of the scale degrees of a scale. In this video, we will use the harmonic minor scale as the basis for this work, so we will build chords on each of the scale degrees of the harmonic minor. Please note, we use the harmonic minor scale because that is the basis of the minor diatonic chord progressions in BCE music performance. Recap, what is a scale degree? A scale degree is a location marker for the note in the scale. Think of it like the position of a note in a scale. For example, the A harmonic minor scale. A is number 1, B is place number 2, C is place number 3, and so on. These numbers are the scale degrees and are the location markers for all the notes in the A harmonic minor scale. Now we have that sorted out, we can start to build chords on each of the scale degrees of the A harmonic minor scale. To do this, there is a tool that we can use to easily understand this process. It is a grid which we will unpack now. But before we begin, we need to look at the tool that will help us to build the chords on each of the scale degrees of the harmonic minor scale. Below is a grid to show you how we will create these chords using only the notes in the harmonic minor scale, thus keeping all the chords diatonic to the harmonic minor scale. As you can see, using only the notes in the harmonic minor scale, we have a formula that we can use to build chords in each scale degree of the harmonic minor scale to create the diatonic chords related to a harmonic minor scale. So on the first scale degree, we will take the first, third and fifth notes of the scale. On the second scale degree, we will build the chords with the second, fourth and sixth notes of the scale. On the third scale degree, we will take the third, fifth and seventh notes of the scale to build the chord, and so on. Now, let's put it into practice. To build the chords, we need to take the first, third and fifth notes of the scale and add them together. So A, C and E. When we put those three notes together, we end up with a minor chord. Now, we need to apply this idea to the rest of the notes in the A harmonic minor scale. To do this, pretend the next note of the scale is the first, and then work out the third and fifth from there. So, on the second scale degree, we take the second, fourth and sixth notes of the scale, the B, the D and the F, we combine them together, and we end up with a diminished chord. So building a chord on the third scale degree, we take the third, the fifth and the seventh notes, the C, the E and the G sharp. When we put those three notes together, we end up with an augmented chord. To build a chord on the 4th scale degree, we take the 4th, the 6th and the 8th notes of the scale, the D, the F and the A. When we combine those three notes together, we end up with a minor chord. To build a chord on the 5th scale degree, we take the 5th, the 7th and the second notes from the scale, the E, the G sharp and the B, and we end up with a major chord. To build a chord on the sixth scale degree, we take the six, the eight and the third notes of the scale, the F, the A and the C, and when we combine those three notes together, we end up with a major chord. To build a chord on the seventh scale degree, we take the seventh, second and fourth notes of the scale, 
the G sharp, B, and D. And when we put these three notes together, we end up with a diminished chord. And finally, to build a chord on the eighth note of the scale, we take the eighth or the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale, the A, the C, and the E, and we create a minor chord, which is exactly the same as where we started. We now have all the chords that are related to the key of a harmonic minor. But what does this mean? Well, chord progressions move from one chord in the grid to another to create harmonic layout for pieces of music. A common progression is 1, 4, 2, 5, 1, which identifies what chords in the diatonic grid that we will move from and to. Here is our A harmonic minor chord grid. So in the key of A harmonic minor, this means that we play the following chords. 1, 4, 2, 5, 1 is the 1 is A minor, the 4 is D minor, the 2 is B diminished, the 5 is E major, and the 1 is back to A minor. These are the chords that are played in the key of A harmonic minor to make this progression. On the stave, it would look like this. Pay particular attention to the flavour of the chords presented in this progression. We will refer to this element a little later in the video. But we're not done yet. Are you ready to have your mind blown? In this video, we have used the A harmonic minor to work out the chords that are diatonically linked to the key. But we have created a tool that is universal across all harmonic minor key signatures. But what does this mean? Well, this means that the quality of the chords and their position in the grid never changes, regardless of the harmonic minor scale that is being used. See the grid here. The first chord is minor. The second chord is diminished. The third chord is augmented, and so on. These chord qualities in their positions never changes. The only thing that will change is the harmonic minor scale that we insert into the red area in the grid. So in the key of C harmonic minor, this sample chord progression would look like this. 1, 4, 2, 5, 1. 1 would be a C minor chord. 4 would be an F minor chord. 2 would be a D diminished chord. 5 would be a G major chord. And back to 1, which is the C minor chord. These are the chords that are played in the key of C harmonic minor to make this progression. On the stave, it would look like this. Notice how the chord progression has the same flavour as the one we previously explored in A harmonic minor. That is because the movement between the chords or the chord progression is the same. This progression is in C harmonic minor. So now, this grid becomes a tool that we use universally across all diatonic harmonic minor chord progressions. 
In the next video, we will look at a universal system that can be used to identify these chords, their positions and their tonalities in oral chord progression recognition questions, the Roman numeral systems for harmonic minor chord progression. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.